views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect those of Access Fort Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting groups. If you'd like to produce a show, call us at 260-421-1250. Let me be your lighthouse so I can show you the way. Be your shining light, keep you from drifting away. I'm the one that makes you try. When Hello, hello, this is Patty Hunter with my TV show Patty's Page. Today we're at Access Fort Wayne TV station in Studio B, and to my left is my co host John Dickmeyer. Hello, John. Hello, Patty. And to his left, my special guest for today, Madeline Fong. Hello, thank you for having me on. Thank you, thank you for coming. So we have questions for you, girl. <laughs> um, where were you born and raised? Well, I was born at Lutheran Hospital mm. and I've lived here all my life. You've never been anywhere else? Or? <laughs> no? No. Ah. So, how, so far, how, what schools have you gone to? Um, I went to a boy elementary for elementary school, then went to Canterbury Middle School for 6th and 7th grade before mm -hmm. transferring back to the Southwest Allen County School District for Woodside, and now I'm a freshman at Homestead High School. What's Homestead High School? Um, it's a high school right here in Fort Wayne. It's a public high school. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so what grade are you in? I'm a freshman, so ninth grade. Oh, ninth grade. Yeah. That's cool. I understand you put a business together. Mm -hmm. What's it all about? So it is a nonprofit cause called A Second Chance, which I started February of last year. Mm -hmm. And I first got the idea when my mom was mentioning all the unused hospital items that um, go to waste every day. So I really wanted to take these items and do something beneficial with mm -hmm. them. So my parents helped me collect these items and donate them to the local animal shelters and veterinary mm -hmm. clinics. So mm -hmm. what kind of items are we talking about? Uh, what hospital items could you reuse, repurpose? So they would, they would all be clean mm -hmm. and it would sterilized, be yeah. Yeah, sterilized. And they would be things such as gowns, basins, and gloves. And by doing this, I really realized how it helps them by being able to use the supplies and save the money for something else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this began to get me thinking about what else I could further do to help mm -hmm. um, local clinics and nonprofit organizations. Mm -hmm. So since I'm an artist and I've been painting since I was nine, I nine. started printing my artworks oh. onto note cards. Well, wow. let's and, show a couple of them. Okay. And um, to help the animals, uh, what made you choose to really help them? I mean. I see pictures of all animals on, and flowers and everything like that. Mm -hmm. uh, what uh, type of uh, painting are you doing here? Is it watercolor? Um, yes. Since I've been painting with watercolor since I was nine, I've used that medium the longest. So most of these are watercolor paintings, mm -hmm. but I also do have some pen and ink, some acrylics, mm -hmm. and even an oil painting. So yeah. uh, your organization was formed last year? Yes, it was. February of last year. And it's called Second... A Second Chance. A Second yes. Chance. These are just for animals. That, um, how, how, how long have you been helping the local animals and their charities? Just a year? Um, yeah, about a year. Mm -hmm. A year now. Mm -hmm. And what the else does the animal charities do with the monies you have raised? Besides just the uh, the gowns and you have you get instruments. Well, uh, from donating the supplies, I wanted to bring my own interests into being being able to further help mm -hmm. the local shelters and the local nonprofit organizations. Mm -hmm. So I was selling my greeting cards and my artwork all in benefit for those shelters and organizations. And Can you say which shelter are you allowed? 
Yes, I can. Last year I donated $2,000, which mm. is about 800 cards, to the Allen County Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. And $1,500 went towards a vaccination clinic for free vaccines. Mm -hmm. And $500 went towards Pet Promises Compassion Foster, which is a really, really great local program mm. that helps the veterans, the disabled, and the elderly in our community by um, providing services such as walking the dogs, mm. clipping nails, or mm. giving the pets baths. So it really helps these people have um, pets as a companion while still getting assistance that they might mm -hmm. need. So that helps because um, there's another one called a Hope. Uh, yes, this year. What's it called? A Hope for Animals or mm -hmm. what? For yes. pets? Yes. So actually this year all the proceeds from my artwork go towards the Humane Organization for the Prevention of Euthanasia or Hope for Animals oh, as you said. Yes. Oh. We got uh, two kittens from um, Animal con Care and Control. Yes. And they have a lot of animals there. Do you yeah. do anything there with them? Or? Well, I would like to extend mm. my um, support with local nonprofit organizations and animal shelters and such. Mm -hmm. So I am currently exploring my options as to how else I can help support our local community. Does uh, animal control, care and control, do, they don't put them to sleep, do they? Um, I know that the um, organizations such as the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, they don't put their um, any of their pets to sleep, which is what I really love about them and other mm -hmm. local shelters in our area is that they don't euthanize their animals. Mm -hmm. Thank God. Do you, uh, you have painted all your, since you were nine years old? Yes, I have. And uh, we have a few here. Mm-hmm. Are you going to show them? Of show your favorite. Oh, uh, I like the poodle mix it in the front. Uh, let's see if we can if we can show that get tip that up so that here, John. so that and we'll see if we can zero focus in. in. Yeah, see, see uh, if we can zero in. That's a beautiful dog. Thank you. This was actually a watercolor of a commissioned pet portrait. Oh. And so I've started doing these recently, and the proceeds also go to Hope for Animals. And a few, I ha also brought a few others of Siamese cats no. that I did. This is also a watercolor. Show this one too. Over here. Uh, Aren't they beautiful? They look like chocolate point. <laughs> really. Not I, seal. Lo I love these cats. They're Thank you. they're wonderful. Blue eyes. And you know, it's brother and sister, yes. brother and brother, sister and sister. Can't really tell, but but two cats together, they're wonderful. Yeah. And there's a uh, painting I see over there. It's very fair. Uh, the way you had. Can you get that? Yeah, let's, let's show this one. That um, must have been interesting in doing because that looks like a, a lot of work. And if we can do. focus in on this, uh, see, look look carefully. It looks like a cougar. Uh, this is this is what pen and ink drawing. Is yes, it? this is a graphite drawing of my friend's Persian cat, actually. And and the detail on this is just absolutely. Superb. Thank so what you. you are seeing now is the larger picture or the same size picture? This is actually a larger print of um, the, the original one. work you see mm. there. And how I... How long did it take you to get... How long did it take you to do that? Um, it took me about maybe two hours. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Beautiful. That, uh, th th the amount of time and the concentration yeah. for something like that is is amazing. Now Thank you, you have two sets. Uh, these are the old what you did before and the new ones that you yes. did. Yes, I have some older designs of my cards, and I also have some newer designs which I did in the past year. Mm -hmm. And I have thirty-four designs in total. Oh and boy. yes, all of these cards I'm selling on my Etsy shop, and I have been selling. 
at local artist fairs and farmers markets this past summer. You gonna try Amazon? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, <laughs> not Good. yet. Not yet. <laughs> okay, uh, art shows. Is there one coming up? Or is there one right now? Um, I don't have any coming up, but I did do a lot during the summer. Mm -hmm. Um, I did participate in farmers markets like the Solomon Farmers Markets mm -hmm. and Bar Street Market. Right. And I did some other events like the Three Rivers Art Center for Kids River Drums Festival. I did the Junior Achievement Young Entrepreneurs Marketplace. <laughs> Dang, that's good. That's great. Three Rivers Art Center, that's us guys. We have to, <laughs> we have to put in a commercial put here for... Plug. River drums and we, we track. Put it on. He, we put it on. Terry Doran was the one who uh, put it together. So, yeah. Uh, shall we continue? Now, these little ones. Mm -hmm. And that compares them both. One is more pastel. And that is darker. I mean, where's this supposed to be? Well, this was actually um, from our vacation in Spain last spring. Spain. Yes. Isn't that? I have Spanish blood. Oh wow. Yeah. And Isn't I also lovely? do have some other from Spain. Ooh. Okay. And these, this one is a watercolor, mm -hmm. and so these ones. Would that be, I like. I think yes. that's wonderful. I have three different. How ones. did you divide the colors? Wow. Oh, I love that. That's, that's, cool. that's from Spain, too? Yes, this is from a cathedral rooftop, actually. Uh, uh, do you know where? Is it north or south? It was in Barcelona. Barcelona. Barcelona that's so, what it's, I figured. so it's north and east. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like the way you put that c color divide. With Thank the white you. and and I also the have these two pen and inks from Spain as well. Oh, macro! Now that's beautiful. Thank you. But show show this one down here. Looks like the I I really love that for for both of them for their uh, topic. If we, it, there's well, the one over there, or you know, yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah, one. yeah, yeah, yeah. There are two of them. But it's it's the walker on the beach that high tide and low tide. I'm um, not sure. There's water where they're walking on the right. Side. Well, this one's actually just a monotone, so it was more of a planning painting, oh. and this one was in color. So, so I did that's this a one rough second. Draft. Um, kind of, yeah. Mm -hmm. I used to be a typesetter in uh, graphic arts, so I know. Yeah. Yeah. I used to do uh, Chin Japanese uh, artwork like this. Now, it's not Japanese, but it's close mm. enough. <laughs> and I love it. It's beautiful. I, I used to do brush strokes. How do you do this, the brush strokes? Uh, do you have, some, use that pen or something, how you paint? Do you, you don't do Chinese? Is there any special way you do your painting? Um, well, I have used to do tighter painting, mm -hmm. so it would be smaller brush strokes, as you were talking about. Mm -hmm. So for something like this and this, this was earlier on, but something like these, yeah. as I showed before, these are looser, so it's mm -hmm. larger brush strokes. That's good. Yeah. So and. The ink one over there with two dogs. Yes, this was a very tight and detailed um, painting. That is so beautiful. Thank you. One looks like a German Shepherd. The other one looks like an Airedale. No, what is it? I'm not sure. It, I'm not sure either. It yeah. It looks like well, a. Well, could could be a, like a a Schnauzer. It mm -hmm. has that same. Hair and and uh, looks like detail. a sheepdog to tell you the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done. Thank you. This one was also a watercolor um, commissioned artwork for a pet portrait for a neighbor. Watercolor. Mm-hmm. It's black and white. How long did it take? 
Uh, it took maybe six hours oh, yes. or so. It took quite a bit longer than some of my other paintings. So when you began painting, how did you learn to do stuff like this? Uh, how did you... I'm trying to fathom how you did all this, especially the horse. Patty's trying to ask you about uh, yeah, who mentored you who mentored in you. doing oh, this. That too. <laughs> Well, when I first started, um, I started out with a private lesson teacher, mm -hmm. but over time I took workshops mm -hmm. from multiple people around here in the Midwest. Good. Yeah. And recently I've been starting to more paint on my own to try to find my own style of painting. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Get your own uh, style, um, genre, or whatever they so, call it. So then... Um, what would you consider your current style to be? What, which of these would that, that would be one? where you are right now? Um, this painting and the Siamese cats painting, mm. those were the most recent, so this kind mm -hmm. of embodies my current style of um, kind of going for a lot more detail and being a lot tighter, and but I would also... cats again? Yeah. I got the wee cats. Can you show close up? There you go. Yeah, now that is a lot of work putting the, uh, the brown almost exact the way it would look on a cat. That's, that's good. Thank you. You're excellent. Woman, you're a good girl. So, do you have sponsors? Yeah, since I've been participating in these um, local farmers markets and artist fairs, mm -hmm. I do have some sponsors. So, Sweetwater Sound. Sweetwater. Yeah. Yes. They were very generous in sponsoring me for Bar Street Market every Saturday this last mm. summer. Mm. And Is it closed now? Or? Um, it's actually still, I th I'm pretty sure it's still going, but mm. I stopped in about late August. Mm -hmm. And yeah. the greeting cards. Um, you do a, you do a rough or, or a big copy of it like those guys. And they make little prints of this. Um, yes, I do the artwork, and then I have them. Pr um, each card features an original artwork of mine. These are imprints. Uh, yes, these are okay. prints. Hi. I I love that one. Right over there with the uh, robin eggs. That must be interesting. You have to have the right blue mm -hmm. and, and the shade and, you know, the, the white. And that was interesting. I Thank used to you. learn a little bit of art when I was... Uh, and those are robin's yeah. eggs. Those are robin's yeah, eggs, Yeah, they're, they're, they're the right color blue. Yeah. And I like the detail on the nest. Yeah. Look, you can see the end. You can see the individual uh, straws mm -hmm. that the birds yeah. woven in, and and that I love that detail. Thank you. That's actually pastel on top of watercolor, so that's how I also got some of that rougher oh. detail of the twigs. Well, would you ever do one with actual baby birds? I would love to do that. That yeah. would be great. You see one already hatch with his mouth open to Oh, that's cute. I think that would be great. <laughs> and I like that macaw. It's kind of a different color than what we're used to. Macaw. It's a red macaw. Mm -hmm. That's a scarlet macaw that we actually saw on our vacation from Costa Rica. <gasps> Costa Rica. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was feeding on berries, and so mm -hmm. we just captured that right perfect moment. Is that the painting? Mm -hmm. This is the original painting. Wow. I have a question. Yeah. Are you going to do murals for companies? I would love to do that. Yeah. yeah. I, I like to see a beautiful mural. Mm -hmm. You know, beautiful bank or whatever. Yeah, especially since Fort Wayne really has a great um, mural sort of inspiration uh, yeah. here. Yeah. Do it inside a, a, a company or a business of sorts. And yeah. Mm -hmm. So, 
Well, oh, I love the, of course I love the dogs and I love the horse, but let's take a look at oh, that's a good some one. of the other things here. What do we have here? What is that? It's called. It's sunny side up. Yes. That's not an egg, is it? That's no. supposed to be the the sun himself. That's not the sun. That's a yeah, yeah. Cupid. That Isn't looks that cool. No, that's not the sun, hon. That is. Or is sunflower. that the sunflower? Sunflower. sunflower. We're here. Oh. We had one outside at our house. I this do one. have another sunflower card as well. Oh, that's nice. And oh. that's an oil painting called From Grandma's Garden. Wow. Oh that yeah. That is so lovely. Thank you. We have painters in my Take family. a good look at that. That's, that's wonderful. My grandmama used to be a painter. Oh, oh, oh. Now, now my daughters would go crazy with this one. <laughs> uh, let's see. Anyone duck hunting? Oh. <laughs> uh, Sorry. Let's see. There is... I'm a sorry. special name for that. Mallard. That that duck. Um, is that a teal? I'm not sure. But uh, so what would you what would you call this duck, or just duck? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a harlequin duck. That's right. Ah, yeah. very good. I have one. And and the reason for that is the the costuming. Mm -hmm. which would look like the Joker or Harlequin uh, from, from the Middle Ages. Yeah. Yeah. That's cute. Oh, what do we have? Oh, this is the one. This is the one. Explain that. I thought... Is that a Mandela? I thought, yes, it yeah, is. it's a Mandela, but I thought maybe it might be Tibetan, but it, it's not, it's is a it? It's it. just... It looks it, like it's a. Uh, uh, but it's in It may be inspired that way. Yes. So what it's a mandala. Bird, it? It's a wren. It's a wren on a thistle. Oh, that'll be great for uh, Native oh, Americans. Marvelous. Oh, that's. Oh, I like <laughs> this one too. Thank you. More, more cats. Oh, he look looks at, like look, he's. Look at the cat. The cat looks <laughs> like uh, he's oh, real we wary go. of you. There we go. <laughs> Oh, that's... That's beautiful. It looks like one of our cats. Yeah, that was actually the neighbor's cat. What was his oh, name? Oh, the neighbor's cat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's the neighbor's so, so do you know the name of the cat? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> okay. He visits us often, though. <laughs> oh. What other works have you done besides this, uh, the paintings and cards? Are you into other things? Uh, oh. Painting what? You have photos, imprints, you have the actual color. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that you are planning to do in the future? Well, I actually recently participated in a project called Paddles Away, yes, which yes. is um, raising money for students to go on educational tours on Fort Wayne's Canal Boat, The Sweet Breeze. Ah. Yeah, so I got the opportunity to paint a sponsored paddle. Mm. And all the paddles from all artists across Fort Wayne mm. will be featured at Promenade Park on mm. September 29th from 1 to 5 p.m. for a World Rivers Day celebration. Oh. Yeah. Have you ever been to the wetlands? Uh, the wetlands. Uh, what, okay, well, what would you say that? Do you mean, do you mean, uh, Oh, I'm like, Canadian, I'm sorry. Like, like, like uh, Swamp. the, the, the marsh? wetlands, marsh. uh, the marsh, marsh. areas. Yes, yes oh I have. God. At least you knew what I was talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so used to being Canadian, you know? Eh? So, eh? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what do you see uh, in your future for a second chance? Well, I would really like to continue what I'm doing now with selling my artwork in benefit of local nonprofit organizations here mm -hmm. in Fort Wayne mm -hmm. and continue selling up markets and fairs and really reaching out to the community as well as um, continuing accepting commission artworks. Yes. Mm. So um, we have your 
Well, we did have your email up there. Can we put it up again? Yes. A second chance fw at gmail dot com. Mm -hmm. That's and you how can, you can reach you. Yeah, and you can also buy my cards at etsy dot com slash shop slash a second chance fw so that will feature all my card designs and other artwork for sale or you can reach me through my email for commission artwork or other questions so you have like you said a website that's at etsy mm -hmm. etsy.com that's the only thing the only website you have or? um i do have another website that you can find on my etsy shop as well it mm -hmm. links to it and um, s and so uh if any of you out there are interested beyond, beyond this, uh, we refer you to uh, the website. Mm -hmm. And that's where you can find out more information. Yes. And, you know, if you want to contact Madeline for other purposes, let's say... That's a card right you've there. Got, you've got a favorite pet or topic that you need to have uh, depicted in wonderful artwork. Especially animals, eh? Then, then uh, you contact her yeah. and make her oh, an offer. There you are. <laughs> you see that Macau on this, uh, uh, that's this, what do you call this thing? <laughs> okay, you, this. Business card. Business card, yes. What's wrong with me today? <laughs> I'm sorry, I must have had a long day. <laughs> oh, I, I love this business card, too. Thank you. Um, the, and the business card is a, actually has the macaw, the red yeah. macaw. Yes, that's what I was going to say. On it, and um, it's, it's not only a fine business card. It has all the right things on it. But the photograph yes, of, the, of the painting is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And yeah, Etsy.com slash shop slash a second chance FW. Yeah. That is the That's it. website. And what would you like to share with my audience? Um, I would like just to encourage them to help support my cause by checking out the Etsy shop, checking out my website, contacting me if you have any questions, and possibly next summer I'll be at Bar Street Markets, on Farmers Markets, and other local artist fairs and markets. Would you uh, actually teach, have cl workshops? I would consider that. that. Yeah, that workshop. sounds interesting. That'd be great to have workshops. And you can pay for it too. But. <laughs> so, this is uh, John. What would you like to say before we well, sign I th off? Well, I think the last thing is is there something special that you'd like to relate to our audience? And, and just something very simple that you'd like to say. Uh, that maybe has to do with what you've been oh. doing oh, or wait, with wait. the animals. Oh, can you sign this for me? Oh, okay. Well, we can do that, can't we? Yes. This is uh, the picture of one of them as a turtle. And the other one, can you show that? Is a picture of a bar, barn owl. Oh, I can't do this. There it is. She's yeah. going to sign them for me. Here we go. And with that, as she's signing, we're going to say goodbye. Thank you, John Dickmeyer. Thank you, Madeline. Thank you so much. And thank you for putting up with me. <laughs> See you next week. Bye. 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 I'm sorry. I've been so tired recently. God speed my love until we meet again. You're always in my